Hello to all furniture designers, manufacturers, and enthusiasts. If you are using Fusion 360 for work, this video is just for you. Fusion 360 is very easy to master and an inexpensive design system, often used by family businesses and those who work on their own. However, it lacks some specific functionality to meet the needs of woodworkers. We believe that the extension joiner CAD developed by our team for Fusion 360 will meet your needs and dispels any doubts about the suitability of Fusion 360 for woodworkers. In this video, I will use a TB stand as an example. Its geometry was designed using standard Fusion 360 tools, which do not put any limits on the designer's imagination and possibilities in creating a design. To save time, I will skip the part of designing the geometry. Tutorials on this are available on the Fusion 360 YouTube channel. The Joiner CAD extension may be opened either from the Fusion 360 toolbar or simply by switching the work environment. This environment contains woodworking tools, which allow assigning fill material and cover material groups to parts of a designed piece of furniture, control grain direction and workpiece oversize and eventually generate a bill of materials, BOM, for the product. First. I will assign certain fill material groups to parts rather than specific materials. I will explain why later in this video. Fill material group type can be selected from the drop-down menu. First, I select laminated board type and assign it to internal parts of the TV stand. If there are several identical parts, they are automatically assigned the same material as the one assigned by Joiner CAD to the first part. Then I assign other fill material groups to the remaining parts, board type for external parts, rod type for metal parts, and for the bottom part, board type again, but a different one than for the external parts. It is important to note that each fill material brings its specific measurements units to the BOM. These can be meters, cubic meters, or square meters. As mentioned before, at this stage of design, I am working not with specific fill materials, but with their group types, which can be specified in more detail in BOM by assigning the manufacturer, code, or color. Of course, if the information describing the fill material group type in the Joiner CAD database is enough for you, consider it a specific material and no changes will be needed in BOM. Working this way is convenient because, first, the database of materials is not overloaded. Second, it does not need to be constantly updated by new materials. And third, the same geometry may be used for other pieces made of different materials. Cover materials are assigned the same way as fill materials. However, cover material group types may be assigned only to those parts that already have the fill material group assigned in Joiner CAD. Cover material group type is selected from the drop-down menu. Each cover material group may be placed on the surface by sinking in the workpiece or on top. First, I select the 2mm PVC cover material group type and assign this type to the edges of certain parts in the TV stand model. The surfaces may be selected individually or tangentially. Then I assign cover material group types to the remaining parts, veneer type for surfaces of external parts, and the same PVC cover material group to other edges, sunk in the workpiece. This information about the position of cover material on the workpiece will also be represented in BOM. Similar to fill materials, each cover material brings its specific measurement units to BOM. These can be meters or square meters.
after assigning material groups to parts, I start working on their grain direction, which may be adjusted for both fill material groups and cover material groups. Once a material group is assigned to a part, its grain direction is by default parallel to the longest edge of the part, that is, the x-axis. Now, I turn the grain direction of the selected part 90 degrees. Then I do the same for the other part by specifying the edge along which the grain direction should be oriented. As you can see, working with grain direction is very simple. Next, I will use the Oversize Control tool. It allows setting the dimensions of the workpiece, which will be used to make the part. Oversize may be added to workpiece dimensions, thus increasing the size of the workpiece. First, I add 20 mm oversize in all directions to the dimensions of the workpiece for the top part of the TV stand, which has already been assigned fill material. Then I add 50 mm oversize to the dimensions of the cover material workpiece of the same part. The same can be done with the dimensions of the cover material assigned to the edge. The values of all oversizes of the workpiece of one part can be viewed and also edited in a separate dialog window. All information about oversizes assigned to workpieces of parts is also sent directly to BOM. Let us move on. Now let us insert the hardware in the TV stand model. The Joiner CAD extension has its own hardware database containing standard and most common joints. You can also design your own hardware, but it has to be processed so that it can be recognized by the bomb generator of the Joiner CAD extension. I take a minifix joint from the Joiner CAD hardware samples and I will insert it into the model using standard Fusion 360 tools. Note that this minifix has a left-hand dowel. Using the joints, I specify that minifix has to be inserted nominally 32 millimeters from the edge of the board. I also indicate that it has to be elevated 34 millimeters above the bottom of the board. It is important to remember to select the rigid type of the joint so that it cannot move from its position in the model. Reducing the visibility of some parts of the model allows me to check whether the joint has been inserted correctly. Using the same Fusion 360 tools, I will insert another minifix on the other side of the same part, but this time I will use a right-hand dowel.
all other joints are inserted the same way. Adding this hardware is necessary so that the generated bomb contains the required quantities, which may be adjusted if necessary. Once the design of the TV stand is finished, it is time to generate a bomb, which will be used for starting production of the product. JoinerCAD uses its own bomb generator. It provides comprehensive, clear, and well-structured information. Bomb shows material groups assigned to the model, their work pieces with oversize, hardware, and all other essential values, which may be represented in the bomb or not at the user's choice. This is a structured scheme of BOM. It shows assemblies, parts, and their hierarchy. Information about a part may be expanded to see its component workpieces. Each workpiece has an assigned material group, which may be replaced by a specific entry if necessary. I will tell more about this in the next part of this video. If necessary, additional order information may be entered. For example, purchase order number, client number, etc. This information will also be shown in BOM. The Joiner CAD BOM generator has preset templates for exporting generated BOM to MS Excel or CSV. As mentioned before, prior to exporting BOM to MS Excel, the user may elaborate on the fill material groups and cover material groups of hardware used in the model. That is, replace their entries by specific materials if necessary. Specific materials may be taken from the prepared MSXL file or entered manually. If necessary, the user can use their own replacement configurations specifying entry mapping schemes. In such configurations, specific material entries may be linked to the range, piece of furniture, etc. of a specific manufacturer. So I create a new configuration and call it Demo. In this case, I assign specific color entries to the Facade O2 material groups used in the TV stand model. I do this for all material group types which do not have specific color entries. First, I open an MSXL configuration setup window and select the MSXL file called Materials. It is a sample JoinerCAD extension file which may be used for creating your own MSXL replacement file. Next, I indicate which sheet of the materials file will be used and which entries of material groups used in the model have to be replaced by specific descriptions of material colors selected from columns in the MSXL sheet. Now I only have to select specific entries describing the material in the setup window. For example, Oak Napoli. In this configuration, they may be assigned to all parts of the Facade O2 material group. Meanwhile, for the parts with assigned joiner CAD material but without cover material, specific descriptive entries can be made individually manually, as shown in the video.
After making the replacements of material entries, I replaced the entries of hardware used in the model the same way. Again, I create a replacement configuration using a sample JoinerCAD MSXL file named Hafele Hardware of Furniture. Now I choose specific entries for hardware elements used in the model and adjust them. At first glance, it may seem like a complicated procedure, but once your own replacement configurations are created and used in the daily design process, it becomes much simpler, faster, and more efficient. I have completed the work on material replacements. As you can see, specific entries are shown next to the original material group entries in BALM. Now we only need to export the generated BALM to MSXL. We have reached the final step, and I'm exporting the generated BOM to MSXL. BOM may also be exported to CSV, but it depends on the selected BOM template and other settings. At the bottom, we see different sheets containing certain information. For example, the product structure sheet shows the hierarchical structure of the product, length and width of parts, etc. The complete parts list shows a list of parts. The cutting parts list, a list of work pieces, etc. Finally, the rename configuration sheet contains detailed information about the material replacements made by us. Now my work is complete and all details of the TV stand may be forwarded for production. Meanwhile, the JoinerCAD team continues developing this extension and is ready to answer all questions of JoinerCAD users via our support system. Good luck!